What's up guys, it's Vloxes back here for another video, and in this brand new video, I will be showing you guys how to make a simulator on Roblox. Okay, so what is a simulator? A simulator is a game about a certain topic in Roblox that the concept is about getting your backpack or DNA full and selling it to obtain more money in-game and buy better tools to become better and get in the leaderboards so this is a simulator and you probably have played a simulator and if you want me to give me an example of one i could tell you ninja legend zebra simulator lifting lifting simulator and much more all of those are simulators and they are great and i've actually had a lot of fun playing them okay so why should I choose? Why should I make a simulator? Why choose a simulator? Because a simulator is a known type of game uh, and it is played on mobile and PC players. Okay, so PC players play simulators so as mobile players because uh, it is played a lot throughout Roblox and PC and mobile players play it. Uh, that means you have more chance of people playing your game than, let's say, a PvP game, okay? So because mobile players don't really like to play PvP games. So because PvP games are uh, mostly dominated by PC players because it's easier for them to actually play competitive games than mobile players. So let's say a mobile player would prefer playing a simulator than a PvP game. So this is why you should actually make a simulator and as well... Uh, in this video, I will be showing you guys how to make a simulator. So the simulator I'm going to be showing you guys is going to it's a candy simulator, okay? So all credit to the guy who made it. This is awesome. Okay, so uh, I'll show you guys how to set it up and everything. There's going to be a link in the description. But before starting this video, uh, I, I, want to t I want to say something. So I have a donation goal, okay? So so my donation goal is $100. And if you want to donate, you can go a link in the description. And right now, we are at zero dollars yes guys i know uh, uh yeah but i know this is gonna change because i know you guys can donate so so go link in the description there will be the donation link so you're gonna go on my site that i made actually recently and you can go over and donate this will be so appreciated but now let's get on right on the video so here, as you can see, you maybe have seen this before, and it is made by uh, wh whoever this is, and uh, this is awesome. So I wanted to share with you guys, and this is actually a great way to start making your game, and I think this is awesome as well because it has pets, which is something I've been trying to code. It's really, it's not the easiest thing, and you could definitely take those, and it will make a tutorial on how to combine those on other games. So I will still be making other similar tutorials, like the part four coming up soon about how to add codes to the other simulator. And if you don't know what it is, you can go check it out. But right now, let's go over and write, uh, get right on the video, and I will show you guys how to set set all this up. Okay. So this is awesome. You can play, you eat, and you can actually sell and actually get pets to, I guess, uh, get more, get more uh, candy. Okay. So this is how the game works, and this is actually such a good start. And if you're a beginner, you're gonna you're gonna be able to edit all that really easily. As you can see right now, I'm eating a candy. I'm holding a candy, and it is awesome. I actually have 253 coins, and you can go over sell. Pets are working here. Bam, pets UI work. You can go over and buy pets. You can, uh, the, the codes, I don't know if they work. I haven't tested them yet, but I'll tell you guys in the description uh, if they work or not. So this is awesome. Okay, so you could you could go over and buy some pets if you want. And there's a lot of them. So this is awesome. That's how you can actually make this game yours. Something by example, editing the map and as well editing the uh, whatever this is, uh, oh, candy, okay, so as well editing the pets, and actually, bam, you have a game that could be actually played with people, a game like this is awesome, it is pretty basic, but it is an awesome start, so I would definitely start with this, if I was you, and I guess this is how I would start making uh, simulators, okay, so as well, if you want other simulators, you can go in my channel, and go over and check them out, okay, so right now, let's go over and back, and I will, I will explain to you uh, what type of games should you do and uh, why, why, what type of games should you do mostly common in Roblox.
But right before going back into in the explanations, I'll just tell you guys that this will have a link in the description for the model that you could take, and I will make a model. Uh, the, the future me will make a model, and uh, yes, you could take it and just follow the instructions. Everything should be working perfectly fine. Okay. So uh, now let's get on the uh, detailed explanation. So you're probably asking yourself, what type of Roblox games should I make? So it is really simple. You should make an obby is the first uh, on our list of Roblox game you can make at home. Okay, so by, by, by make at home, I mean that it's the easy one of the easiest game you can make. And actually, there's a lot of obbies like the impossible obby, uh, Toh, which is a tower. And you could actually uh, make a game like this and actually earn a lot. So an obby is an obstacle course, and it is a great ga game to make as a beginner, and it will teach you the basics of Roblox Studio and the Lua scripting language, okay? So as well, there's the adventure game, which is like basically an adventure game you can make, like uh, you can go like Wild like wild, uh, wild West or whatever it, it, it is called, I forgot. And as well, you can make a tycoon, okay? So there's a lot of packs for tycoon, and if you guys want packs for tycoon, simply go over and like, uh, uh, comment down below, tycoon, and I'll make some packs for, packs for tycoon. After it is a racing game, okay? So honestly, I love racing game. I used to play Mario Kart and other racing games like Sonic uh, racing game, and I really enjoyed them. So of course, I think racing games could work uh, magnificently awesome in Roblox Studio, okay? So as well, an infinite runner. So if you don't know what is an infinite runner, it's basically like Subway Surfer. So if you've known Subway Surfer, you probably played it in your phone. And it is an infinite runner of someone running and a, a cop following him behind. And you got to go th some th through some uh, obstacles, okay? So this is an infinite runner. And in Roblox, it is pretty cool. It's not the simplest thing to do, though. Though, if you are pretty experienced at Lua scripting, you could make an infinite runner. So I've seen tons and tons of people making Roblox games, but they weren't that good. So you may be asking yourself, how do I make a good Roblox game? And this is really simple. So a good Roblox game consists of solid environments. So look, in the simulator, the environment looks awesome. And if there's no good environment, people will not play it as well. You need solid GUIs, which is the GUIs, which is a new screen. And if you don't have good ones, it will look ugly and people will not want to play or play it a lot, okay? So as well, it should have solid gameplay. That means it shouldn't be laggy for those people who have uh, uh, computers with not a lot of performance. They should be still be they should still be able to play it because there's a lot of people who actually have uh, computers and phones that are old, so they don't have that good of a performance. But they play games that wouldn't be laggy like obbies. And if you have a game that is not laggy, they would probably play it. So that's an audience you can get simply from your game having good performance. Okay. And as well, the game should be long, okay? So by that I mean, like, they shouldn't be able to finish the game. Example, if it's similar, they shouldn't be able to get the last tool. They shouldn't be able to get the last tool and all that uh, easily. They should, like, at least spend, like, an hour and a half or two hours playing your game before actually finishing it or becoming good at it. So this is, it should, you should try to make your game the longest possible and try to re release your game with the most things on it possible, okay? So example, if it's similar, try to release your game with 30 tools and it would 30 backpacks and it would be good okay so as well try to make it uh, the least repetitive okay by repetitive i mean it shouldn't have the same things everywhere example an area should an other and, and another area should be completely different it shouldn't even it shouldn't even have it should even look same okay so if your whole map just looks same you have a small map then honestly that makes people just don't want to play it and want to go play something else so that's why you should try to make it at least per, the least repetitive possible. And in an obby, the least repetitive possible would be really different stages, and the stages will not be repetitive, okay? So as well, spend the most efforts on your game, okay? So this, this is the last thing, and this is the best thing. So if you spend a lot of efforts on your game, you would actually have your game going well. So like, depending on the effort you spend, people will play. I know that kind of sounds weird, but actually, it is pretty much like this. And as well, if you spend a lot of effort and your game isn't that great, then that's pretty different. But as well, I'm here for you guys. And uh, if your game is not that great, then actually check my tutorials out and your game could become actually much better.
So I hope, guys, I, hope, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And as well, again, make sure to donate because right now I am at $0 in my PayPal account. So please donate and as well, see ya the next time.